Okay, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm gonna share with you one of the things that has saved me so much time with my food prep over the last probably four or five years that I've been using it, and it is a sous vide. So uh, this is, I had friends of mine turn me on to this because this, it's something that gourmet restaurants use and why their meats taste so good. This is one of the tools. I don't use, I, did, I was using it when I originally got it for that, but then when I found the little tricks that I could use for my food prep, it has been probably my best friend, uh, along with the Instapot here is another one that I use all the time. But this thing has saved me so much time. Um, all it is is like you use a pot, so you just got to have a big pot, you fill it up with water, then you, you just take the Instapot, or the, the Instapot, the sous vide here, and then you put the arm in, you plug it in, you set the temperature, you put your meat in, and it, it's just really quick. So the way that I do this is, I got frozen chicken breasts in the freezer. Now, what I do is I go to Costco and I'll buy packages of chicken breast and they come in uh, six and like wrap things of chicken. And I will actually, I'll buy either one or two of those and then I will package three to six of these bags up. So I have them in the fridge frozen ready to go when I'm ready. Generally a bag like this will get me by for, this one, this one's pretty big in here because you get more in some of them. This will get me by for probably five to six, maybe seven days. So I actually won't keep it all in the fridge. I might have to freeze some of it after I cook it. Um, but I will package a bunch of these up so I can just come out and cook it. Now, the way this works is I just come in like, oh, I need some chicken later today. It'll be in the morning. I just go in, I get in the cabinet, I get the pot, I fill it up three quarters of water, and then I come just set it back down. I actually, I actually put it on a, I don't know if it would ruin the granite or not, but I put it on one of these little hot pads. So I put it here. I put the arm in. I set the temperature. I get the chicken out of the freezer. I put, I suck the air out because it does get a little bit of air in it. You can kind of see that it has this thing to be able to suck the air out, which is a little pump here. I got these on Amazon. You can find them all over. Um, you put the chicken in the water. You just put start, you put the time, I set it for two and a half hours. You can put it in frozen. You don't have to wait for it to thaw out. I put it in two and a half hours. It calls for about an hour and a half. I put it in two and a half hours. The, the, the timer will not start till the temperature gets to, I put it at 155 and I cook it for two and a half hours there. Uh, the thing is there, it's the amount of time that the chicken will be at a temperature that kills off all the bacteria and things in the chicken that you got to worry about. So it is fully cooked. The awesome thing is too that the chicken is very, very tender and moist, so it, it, it holds the juices. It's almost like lunch meat, and you don't have to think about it. You pretty much set the timer and you're done, and you come back in and the chicken's ready and it's in a little baggie. Uh, and then what I do then, just to kind of, so it's even quicker for me, I will end up bagging these up. I'll use the Instant Pot, do my other vegetables. Um, but it's been a major time saver. So it's one that I recommend if you're looking, if you're tired of dry chicken breast. I ate dry chicken breast for so many years, I can't even tell you. Um, if you are looking to just always have the meat where it's there and ready, this is a great tool. Another one's an air fryer. I mean, you can use the air fryers. Again, like I've used the air fryer with chicken breast. You still get that dry taste with it, um, but the Instapot, or not the, the, <laughs> sous vide, I just did a video on Instapot before this, so I keep saying Instapot, but the sous vide is great for making sure that you come out with the perfectly cooked chicken. Um, and just another thing, like if you really want to impress some friends, like you get some steaks and you put it in here for about four to six hours and then cook it before. And then like when they come over, you can't ever cook it, you put it at 145, it cooks it at the perfect medium rare temperature and then you just salt pepper. You can put salt pepper before you put it in there. I usually do it after. Uh, then I just get the grill real hot, drop it on about a minute and a half each side. You got perfectly medium rare, like either fillets or ribeyes is what we usually do. And it's just delicious. So um, has more benefits than just food prep.